too, Ari. Ari? Ari! Huh? Wait, what is it? Ari! Yeah, wake up! Wake up. I'm... We are awake. We're. Ari! Come on, we're gonna be late! <laughs> wait, wait, what? No! Wait! Why did you have to wake me? Because your way interest as am is today. <laughs> Why didn't you wake me up sooner? I tried. Uh, seriously, you see, so comfortable. Believe me, I have really tried to wake you up. Uh, but then you started acting like you were dancing. And so, I pretty much already got dressed. Took my shower. You were still sleeping. But then as soon as I try again, as Eri notices that she's clinging to Izuku right now. <clears throat> Miss Inko! It's just Inko. <sighs> I thought I told you, you can't sneak your way into Izuku's bed every night. Seriously, I've tried to let you know or sometimes guide you toward your room, but for some reason you always find your way back here. I don't know why, I don't know how, but <sighs> you're going to have to get over this habit. What if you could have a girl over? You think she would want to be cuddling up to you as well as her boyfriend? <laughs> As Izuku, he feels a murderous aura around Eri Hershey. Don't joke about that. Who said I'm joking? Izuku, you can't deny you have had some female admirers lately. Well, I, I can't. I, I don't lie. Okay, maybe a little, but it's nothing. It's just... Uh, a visual thing, especially when I'm flying at work. Yeah, that's right. You're a delivery boy. Hell, I'm one of the fastest. True, but still. <sighs> Either way, Ari, what would you do then if she confronted you about? Trying to steal her Izuku away. <clears throat> I would probably tell her that I saw him first. I was here before you. Wow, you sound like you already claimed him as yours. <clears throat> well, I don't want my friend to get swept up by anyone. You know. Looking to use him in any sort of malicious way. Right, right, right. Yeah. <sighs> well, you say, kid. Anyway, go eat, get ready, and I guess Izuku will meet you there. No, I'll wait. What? Yeah, I'm way faster than a train or any bus. Yeah, but it'll be kind of, kind of close, don't you think? Well, huh, I'll go faster. And if you get stopped, I'll flash the card I have that allows me to actually use my quirk. Or at least, lets me fly. <sighs> Damn it. Fine, fine. You can wait for her, I guess. Thank you. Him just waiting outside. Well, you see, that boy loves you. And so help me God, if you don't hurry up and tell him, some vixen will. Trust me. I know. Well, how would you know? Eh, I almost lost Izuku's father. Uh, what? Yeah, I noticed he was hanging around some other women. Well... We were 
just friends, and it made me go berserk. When I finally confronted him about my feelings, he admitted that he felt the same about me. So what you're saying is I gotta wait until a woman tries something where he's like, no, 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 that's not it's all what I said. Now, what if I had a friend that could do that for me? Someone who doesn't really care much about him, but enough to, for him to... No, that's worse. <clears throat> Either way, I'm, what I'm trying to say is confess to him before that has a chance to happen. Oh, okay. I can, yeah, I can do that. Sure. Are you positive? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm still waiting. And you're going to keep waiting as long as it's necessary. <sighs> Go ahead, get ready. Prince Charming is waiting. <sniffs> right. Thank you, Miss Ingo. Please just call me Ingo. Use my name instead of the Miss. Seriously, it's completely unnecessary. You're practically family already. <sighs> right. As soon as Izuku has Eri on his back, he jets out of there and. You can see, if he was driving a car, he would be breaking so many laws. Luckily, he's flying. So, to get there, Izuku and Eri are kind of nervous. Because they won't be in the same testing rounds. As for the rebel of them, they both do great. The practical, Izuku, he's... More concerned about Aerie. He doesn't even listen to President Marcus. Because as soon as he sees those doors creak open, he blasts them to hell and flies off. He's so concerned about what bad could happen to Aerie, he destroys every robot he sees. Doesn't matter what points it gives him. Doesn't matter if anyone else was trying to get to it first. All that matters is that he gets this over with, so maybe, just maybe, he can confront Eri, or at least, very least you could say, check on her, just in case she does need help. When <laughs> the Zero Water shows up, he's just, oh, come on, it's nothing but a bunch of bullshit. Him unleashing... A turret of fire. It's like a machine gun of flames. Blowing holes through the zero pointer. It's easy. There's no need for him to really exert himself. All the teachers and participants, they're like, wow. What the hell, man? Yeah, I know I'm great. Now, on to, to Aerie. Since Aerie really doesn't have any strength... At least not enough strength to really break through steel or iron. What she actually does is go for the deactivation buttons around the robots. Luckily, she is highly nimble, agile, and all that shit. Spending all that time with Izuku, she does, yeah, learn hand-to-hand -hand combat so she doesn't need her swords. Though she wishes she, she did have them. <sighs> It's pretty much those cows of sport gear. She wanted to test herself. Whichever she does get hurt, she uses her quirk to reverse it. Everyone looking in amazement, wondering, what is this chick's quirk? Because the teachers, all my just, okay, what is this girl's quirk? As I was, rewind. Well, what does it do? You just saw what it did. It reversed the damage. What? Oh yeah, she can reverse anything along this living to... Huh. Apparently here, she accidentally 
reminded her father. Oh dear. Oh my god. Yeah. The, oh my. Wait a minute. That's right. I remember these kids. Especially the dragon kid. But Wow, it's been so long since I've seen them. Huh. They definitely got stronger. At least from my standpoint, I guess the young one, the little girl, is stronger. But hey, Zuko Midoriya. Huh. He's on another level one because of firepower. It's impressive. Yeah, no kidding. So, what class should they be in? Well, she's racked up enough points to at least join UA, but not enough to be in Class 1A. Hmm. As for young Midoriya, he obviously has earned his spot in 1A. Hmm. I'm really impressed. Who knows? I might need Ares' assistance later. Oh, wait. Really? Yeah. If, who knows? If she truly can reverse people, she might be able to fix me. Seriously, the applications of a quirk like that. She is literally the world's greatest doctor. Hell, if you had an illness, she could probably reverse it to the point where you're at the pinnacle of health. Injuries. There's no need to go to a doctor as long as she's around. Huh. This girl, we're definitely going to need to keep an eye on. Actually, there's no need, remember? Huh? Yeah, this is Midoriya. Right. I forgot. He's her protector. Seriously. I am. I can't wait to see how these two develop. Yeah, could you imagine if one of them had a kid? Or they had a kid together? Midnight, I... I did not need to hear that, but I would expect that child to be very powerful. Could you imagine imbuing the fire with her quirk? What do you mean? Think of it. Instead of it being regular fire or plasma, they could actually reverse any injury. It'll be like healing fire, except... Actually, that's very interesting, if you really consider it. Midnight, what are you thinking? We need to hook these two up. Together. What? Yes, think of it. Uh, I'm not so sure. They seem to be pretty close as it is. Eh. Um, they could always be closer. That may be true, but it is unnecessary. Like, will they end up driving each other apart? And it'll be our fault. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. As they wait for their whole uh, acceptance letters, Izuku flies off while Ares stews where she wants. Huh. Where he didn't have to go to work today, did he? No, missing go. I don't think so. If anything, I just think he he's just doing some training without you. Yeah, he said. Yeah. That I don't have to worry about him. Then this is something he has to do on his own. Oh, what? Um, you don't you don't realize this? He, he's keeping secrets from you. What? No, 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 no. It's just he wants some. He doesn't want me to know everything he does, and 
I respect that. Yeah, but what if he's being a girl? What? I'm just saying, my theory of him finding someone else looking pretty good. No. No, no, no. I, I, I don't. That's not possible. Huh? Why not ask him? Sure. Well, yeah, fine. I, I have faith in Izuku. I know he won't do anything. Right? Depends on how he answers you. Which as soon as Izuku does head back, she's like, where have you been? Busy. What were you doing? Training. Really? As she does the old sniff test. Is like, why do you smell so sweet? Um. Uh. I'm just okay. Think of a, think of a good excuse. It's like flowers. Flowers don't smell like this. <sighs> um. I fell somewhere sweet smelling. You are a terrible liar. You know that. Uh, um. Okay, okay. I was planning on surprising you as he has this thing of perfume. He's like, What's that for? You! Why? Well, I know your birthday's around, well, December, but I wanted to get you something, you know, just to be nice. And she sees that it is. Uh. Huh. To Airy Love Izuku. But that doesn't explain the smell that's all over him. Though it does smell like the perfume, it's. There's no way that much of it spilled on him and still be in the bottle. So she demands another explanation. So, okay, fine. Him showing. A shattered bottle. How? Like I said before, I fell. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry for doubting you. As you do, he goes to wash up. And goes, so yeah. I know that perfume. It is not that expensive. Yeah, so... Turns out he probably bought that and shared the other other one on purpose to hide something else. Like what? Another girl's smell. Or at least a smell he didn't want you to notice. Think about it. Is Izuku really that reckless or clumsy when it comes to flying? Well, what if he got distracted? Oh, believe me. If he got distracted, it must have been, uh... Yeah. Something quite interesting to catch his attention. Y y you don't think he's cheating on me, do you? You're not dating. So, do I think he might be seeing another girl? That might want to be his girlfriend? Yes. You never know. <laughs> you should may I move on while you had a chance? No. No, 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 no. There's no way in hell. I have faith in Izuku. What, what, why do you sound like you're his girlfriend? You're not. What faith you have in him that he won't cheat on you? It is... That, that holds no water. He wouldn't be cheating on you, he would just be open to dating. You don't know who he's going to see, you don't know who he's with. For all we know, he, he might actually be with a dude. Seriously, you don't know, do you? No, neither do I. I think I feel I tried to hook you up, but no, 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 you couldn't, you couldn't have that. You just had to bury them feelings. And what I fear that would happen is starting to happen. Oh, you should listen to me, kid. That's all I can say. You should listen to me. 
as Eri contemplates the fact that she may lose Izuku. 